Donnelly, I read a 2015 interview with Kevin Ash where he stated that his goal in life was to find the perfect $20 bottle of wine. Mm. I'd like to ask Nash if he found it yet. <sighs> I get so close sometimes. Uh, but what happened was with, with uh, global, uh, I, I guess, climate change, whatever the fuck you want to call it, but um, with the amount of fires that have uh, ravaged the wine country, um, the wine prices have just went through, went through the roof. And to find, you know, trying to find a nice Howell Mountain fucking cab that's under 45 bucks. And that's the one thing I will say, as I will not fucking... I love Snoop, double G-O-G, and, um, but I will not drink fucking 19 Crimes wine. I don't give a fuck if, it's, if, it's, if I'm going to the fucking gallows. And it's yeah, my they la- have uh, him and, and uh, who? Martha Stewart. Yeah, I'm not drinking. I, I'm not drinking. I'm not, I would rather fucking uh, drink ketchup than fucking than, than shit fucking red wine. So my pa- I'm a big uh, Orrin Swift guy. Orrin Swift wines. If that's that's kind of price know. wise, where's that going to put our fans? Orrin Swift. Uh, Saldo maybe twenty seven ish. Papillon sixty six sixty nine. That's a but I mean uh, you, the, everybody's drinking a bottle of Prisoner in their life, and uh, <clears throat> that's like a forty two forty four dollar bottle of wine. All right. I'm going to be drinking tonight. I'm going to be drinking a screw top from Australia called The Boxer. And it's uh Where do you find new wines? Do, do you have a, a like a guy that turns you on to them at a place or do you just read about them when you want to try like an Australian screw top bottle? I'm, I'm, of- I'm blessed. I have a buddy named Dave Driscoll that um has been in the spirits business, been in the wine business, been he's he's just He's a master of all trades. I think he's uh, up for a job with the fucking Clippers right now. And um, as the team sommelier, what, what's the? No, as fucking like a, a like a <coughs> somewhere where he can get me fucking tickets. Oh, I mean, like a, a good job. And um, he uh, he always kind of, uh, especially when he was like working in the wine industry. He sent me. There was a, a a bottle that he sent me, and he does. He did like a podcast, and we and it, this bottle of wine. I, I want to think it was from Santa Clara, and it was the 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 wine was a uh, the grape was a French grape, and it was grown grown in the side of this um, basically this sand basin in Santa Clara, and this 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 uh, vine had to fucking find its way down to the water table. And um, when it did, it, it, it took so long that the, 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 the grapes were really small. But they were like, like oh, they were, I don't know if you know, like, like, like an Amarone or uh, Amarone uh, fucking Italian wine. Like that, I mean, it, but, but, but it, it was the, one of the richest, most complex Grapes I'd ever fucking tasted in my life, and it was one of the most complex wines I've ever tasted. I took one sip and I said, "How fucking north of two bills is this?" He said, two eighty-five." I said, "Yes." I mean that motherfucking. It was the best bottle of wine I've ever tasted in my life, and I I can't remember what the name of it is. Mm. Somebody out there, if they can, uh, if they know the. Uh, because I'm sure there's only one, or, there's probably only one fucking wine uh, being produced out of Santa Clara, out of that region. So, but now the scarcity of that grape because of the way it was grown, are they still producing? I don't know. In, in I, abundance? I don't know. All right. Well, I, you're probably due to go take a gigantic colon cleansing shit right now because it's been a, a couple of hours. So I'm assuming uh, that's going to happen. I'm, gonna, I'm having I'm having uh, grass fed meatloaf tonight. All right. I'm giving you about 45 minutes after that, and then you're then yeah. you're making the deposit. Yeah. Oh, goddamn. You know what? Uh, we didn't get to the bunkhouse. Oh, fuck. Remembering. Yeah. 
Oh, shit, man. Yeah. That's, you know what? It's you know what? Next week. CTE. Next week. Next week. Tape those fists. Come at it next week. Click. This is a uh, production of Butch and Sunday. It's Media, of course, produced, produced in association with the podcast Heat. Producer Steve Kaufman. Graphics by Dominic D'Angelo. Title sequence by Wesley Burleson. Theme song, Dale Oliver. Technical research by Tristan Nash. Copyright 2022. Butch and Sundance Media. Kev, do you want to do another one? Okay. Got to do it then. Funkhouse Stampede.